Okay, hi everybody, it's uh, me, Axis Lewis, here with a new video. It's just a little script that I whipped up for Glove Pie. Well, hardly whipped up. I mean, it's 200 lines long, but. It's for uh, ZSNES for the classic controller, but anyway, you'll need a Bluetooth, and when you plug it in, you should see this Bluetooth icon, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you can find a billion tutorials, but. I've had to record this like 70,000 times, and it doesn't make me happy. I wish there were other free screen captures that actually worked, but... Alright, so you're gonna click run, and then push the 1 and 2 buttons on your Wii Remote. And it may go on for a little while. There we go. Alright, so, this debug box right up here, alright, in full screen. Right where it says connect to Wii Remote, then restart. Or Wii Remote, whatever. And I can't click for some reason. I think that's just. It's weird. I wonder why I can't click. Oh, Wii Remote didn't connect. I wonder why not. It. Glove Pie likes to freeze for some reason. But okay. You could just re reopen Glove Pie. Open that up run it, and then connect the Wii Remote. No, it should flash. All four lights should be going. And, um, some point in time it should stay down here. Or maybe not, maybe it'll just connect, but... Up. Oh, okay. So, connected. And you need a classic control. There are all sorts of light codes that I believe it's in here, but these these are from an earlier version, so that's wrong. But uh, <coughs> real quick video, just showing you how. Um, yeah, you can play two-player games with this, and uh, sometimes it likes to drop the Wii Remote, so you just have to reconnect that. But yeah, that's all for today. But yeah. If it gets stuck on player 1 and player 4 lights, just restart, click stop, and start. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.